every day unfolds in a unique way. Bringing stories and lessons with it. We choose to record them and share the stories with the world through our films. Today, I want to go back to how this all started. In March, Miles and I have been working in London, going to our offices every day and living a pretty ordinary life, apart from our home being in Arabate, of course. Then, one day, we were sent to work from home. We didn't have a clue how long this all is going to go for, so we thought, why not take this opportunity and leave central London and cruise further out? That's how we ended up in Casterbury Park, a beautiful corner of Watford on the outskirts of London. After that, two things happened. The lockdown has arrived and I got fellowed. Well, I thought, if this is not the sign I was waiting for, then what is? I wanted to document our adventures for a while now. So I picked up the camera and started filming. I had no idea how to film and what to shoot, how to tell a story in a cohesive and interesting way. I also only had a small GoPro camera without a microphone. So our first videos don't sound too great. Oh well. To throw a span in the works, I also had no idea how to use a video editing software and the laptop I was using at that time stopped working. But I didn't give up. I spent months waking up at 4 or 5 am in the morning to borrow Mouse's computer before 9 am, spent all day watching tutorials and doing online courses and taking over his laptop again after 6 or 7 and staying up late and making episodes. The main reason I didn't give up with all of these challenges was that I absolutely love it. These videos is an incredibly exciting way to tell a story and the possibilities are endless, so I stuck with it. At the end of May, when the lockdown ended, we made a grand plan. Not knowing when we both are going to be back into London, we decided to go on an adventure and cruise up the Grand Union Canal, down to the Oxford Canal and back into London via the Thames. On the way, we passed a friend's house who was incredibly kind and we ordered a new camera and a microphone to his address. Now the video started to look much better. As the world events unfolded, working from home kept being extended and I got made redundant in July. Once we arrived at Oxford, instead of turning left towards London, we turned right to explore the Thames from its earliest navigable point and took our time going downstream very, very slowly and savouring the beauty that it has to offer. In August, for the first time in five months, we left Alba. We visited our families and spent a few weeks on land. By then I already knew I was serious about documenting our adventure. I couldn't wait a second longer and so I bought a drone. Getting a drone was incredibly exciting and Miles loves it too. He's becoming a really good pilot and I also feel braver and braver every time I fly it. Although the fact that the drone ended up swimming in the Thames on day two still gives me anxiety. It will take time to work up the courage for more exciting and long distance shots. We waited until the very last minute to get off the river 
and had one hell of an adventure escaping the flood. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Our next chapter is on Kennet and Avon Canal. We are spending all winter on it. Lockdown 2.0 was very productive and we finally had a chance and access to a talented mechanic who looked at Alba's problems and the list was very long. It's not all plain sailing and we had some challenges along the way too. Although we don't want to focus too much on negatives, it is important to show the difficult aspects of living on a boat as well. We had a few crashes. We've been having engine problems since February that took three different mechanics and over 10 visits to solve and only at the end of November. The batteries gave up in October as we've been working from the boat every day from very early hours in the morning or late into the night, draining them continuously. And of course, the shower pump broke in July and it took three pumps, three mechanics and six months to fix. Losing a job, living in a small space, working long hours for months and months under constant stress of running out of power and being dependent on a leaky engine to get that power. Also for a long time without a shower and without any opportunity to just go anywhere and get away from it all even for one day. This was challenging to say the least, but we did it. No one could predict how this year will turn out and we all had to struggle with a whole array of challenges. I feel like a real boater now with all of these hours of cruising and problem solving under my belt. And we can't wait to see what the next year has got in store for us. Because you chose to watch our videos, we feel inspired to film and create more. The more videos we make, the better we become at this filmmaking thing. And the easier it gets to tell a story, interestingly, the more excited we are to share it. We are incredibly grateful for every single one of you who has been watching our videos. We are very touched by your support and we want to send our love and gratitude to all of you. Every single one of you. We hope you stick around for the rest of the voyage. So if you're new here, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when the new video is coming out. We release a new one every Friday, sometimes Saturday. And if you would like to support what we do, head over to Patreon and join our community there. You can get access to bonus content, early episode releases, and a chance to get invited on board with us whenever we are allowed to have people over again. Thank you all and Happy New Year.